Hello people and this is my experience of our flood emergency evacuation in Merritt BC of the cold water flooding in British Columbia. So what happened? It was November 15 about 2.30 am. City workers were knocking on my door, ringing the doorbell. Um, I had no idea what was happening because, you know, I was in a deep sleep. So I opened the door, lady tells me, you need to evacuate immediately because you are in danger of flooding. And uh, as we had children, we really had to go out uh, very soon uh, just for their safety. So as we did not know what was happening, uh, we just, you know, got up, started to uh, prepare ourselves, grab some essential things, put them in bags, loaded the car. And then we went upstairs and grabbed the children, uh, put them in the car as well. And then we just drove off to a different area of Merit with our in-laws. So this is where then we could spend the night. Apparently one or two hours after we left, uh, the streets were already flooded. It would have been very difficult to go driving through the streets um, because then the next day I thought, oh, I should go back and grab some more things out of my house since we had to leave so urgently and I forgot to pack my socks. So as I went back, I realized now the streets were flooded too hard and the streams were going too fast to go to my house. So luckily the next day, day two of the flooding, um, everything started to receding and I was able to maneuver my way back to my house to grab a couple more things out of my house. You could see this in this video. So. Um, overall, what was my experience? How am I doing and what is now the next steps in the plan? So as the whole town of Merritt BC was evacuated because of uh, problems with the wastewater treatment plant, there is no potable water in the entire city. So they evacuated the whole city and they could go to uh, Kamloops or Kelowna or any other place that has access because several cities are unreachable because the highways are flooded and or destroyed as well. So we ended up in Kelowna because we have some uh, family there with whom we can stay in their place as you can see behind me. Thank you Caleb and Tash. Anyways, so this is where we are now staying uh, for the next couple of days. We are very happy that there is emergency services in place so we could go there and we got some, you know, vouchers to go to the supermarket. So everything is in place. You know, honestly, the queues are a little bit long, let's say, uh, but overall we are very glad that we are getting the support to manage this period. And if you had no place to stay, there was opportunities, availability to stay in a hotel and all this is paid for. So overall, everything I think was managed pretty well. So now we are here in Kelowna and we are just waiting for the city to open up the border again for people to go back into Merit. But yeah, for me personally, our house it will probably take a quite a bit longer time before we can go back to our yellow house because you know our basement is flooded uh, our ground floor was flooded a little bit the yard is kind of destroyed so we are unsure what will happen luckily we also have a great community of friends and family that offer to help us with restoring our house so i'm very grateful for people willing to help us out in this situation. So overall, we are very happy that we are all safe, that we are all taken care of, that we have a beautiful community as well. And we just hope that in the next couple of weeks, we will be able to restore our house. And hopefully it will not be too difficult as winter is coming and it can get quite chilly in Merritt BC over the winter. So now we are just waiting for what the future will bring, uh, but we will keep a positive attitude and we will keep you tuned as well. Anyways, this is my experience of my flooding in Merritt BC.